What is up YouTube? We're here with another Max or video and hopefully this time it's a bit less intense than the first one. I swear to God, if you throw me into that portal, I will fuck you. Okay. It's starting less intense. I appreciate that. <laughs> you are sus. Oh my god. Oh. Doom Eternal is a game with so much testosterone dripping from its orifices that Jesus it caused me to create a sun via mitosis. There are so many transitions happening. Doom, a man stricken with irrationally severe Wait, is his name actually John Doom? Think through his actions and effects <laughs> on other people. And in his quest to save mankind, kills God, God God, and Satan God God. God God and Satan God God. If this in-depth and engaging hardcore male gameplay sounds appealing, <laughs> then I've got the game for you. Stole this for game is of course the sequel to the critically acclaimed Doom 2016 with a few key differences. Oh. Right then, buddy, I'm going to shit yourself. Wait, I'm going to shit yourself? How does that make any sense? Then extends them some more off of a fucking cliff until the product that emerges <laughs> on the other the side cliff. resembles crack concentrate. If you're watching this, I'm assuming you've probably played the game since nope. I don't actually want to help people buy things. I'm here I, to entertain people. Nope. And if you're clamoring for I entertainment and played it. purchased this game yet, do yourself a favor. There's enough male hormones here to transition <laughs> someone. And I can guarantee you results, my fellow Sigma males. So whether you're a I can guarantee like results. I can games, become a Stolfo. Yo, I'm so Sold. Gameplay, beautiful environments, nonsensically fucked up lore, and remixed Mongolian throat singing. For money is temporary, Wait. but do- Remixed Mongolian singing? What the fuck? <laughs> Doom is eternal. Okay. Part one, the gameplay. I would say that Doom Eternal's gameplay is quite unique and not for the reasons that you would think. Everything not for the Doom bloodshed. Is funneled directly into a single, robust, multifaceted, <laughs> multinational, and unilaterally combat system from which uh -huh. the entire game is built around. But Maxor, I hear you thinking, <laughs> that's every game ever. Yes, every good game ever. If I, for every instance, became game. 12 and booted up GTA 5, I would be able to do at least a uh. dozen unfun activities. Doom's design is focused harder than the average Persona fan on his local playground and that Oof. is special you i feel cold out game in the way that is fun or you will lose so as good as 2016 was a polygon journalist could beat the first half and that's unacceptable because yes <laughs> oh the fact that he picked on the freaking journalist i love that oh yes i fucking love that it is actually unfun to play games after having a lobotomy. In other games, I get to choose between <laughs> things like stealth, vehicles, or outright combat. Yet Doom Eternal asks the question, why not force you to use every mechanic all the time without stopping? In a world where AAA studios try to pander fun. to everyone, it's refreshing to have a game that sets out to do one thing <laughs> the best, and actually have developers who give a shit about linear design and gameplay. And Doing everything at all times? Is the arsenal, because John what if I only want to do one thing throughout only? The, game. the first shot gun is used in the last level and the last level is used by the first shotgun when you get an upgrade it isn't a replacement it's a genuine addition to your arsenal every one of them has specific interesting uses, and yet these don't interfere at all they enhance how do i kill an enemy well shoot his hands off fire a rocket fire a ballista fire flame <laughs> you kill an enemy well you start by getting rid of his hands then you get rid of his legs then you decapitate them and then just because you can stab him 45 times in the chest no just me okay Fire, fire on his free to throw shotgun. <laughs> shotgun. Brain aneurysm. Just as important as how you kill is how you heal and how you restore. Fortunately, the aggression of this game rises uh, like dog in a kindergarten. Like real life, the only so way to get ahead of the competition is to kill them. How do I heal when low? So basically, if I'm getting this straight, you just take all your weapons and you just swap between them and fire everything. Your entire arsenal. And preferably have a button that has a nuke. Got it. 
kill them. How do I get ammo back? Kill them with a chainsaw. In addition, <laughs> Wait, you have to kill them with a chainsaw? Change their behavior. Such stunning examples would be the microwave beam, the automatic shotgun, and the fucking destroyer blade. God, that shit's cool. Oh, that shit's cool. That shit is so cool. State, we keep going. More than any one weapon, you'll be using <laughs> your suitabilities, and they all have individual buttons. This is in addition to the eight that you use for weapons. These would be things like zoom for fast, eight buttons for, for, death, <laughs> for life, punch for That's no a lot of buttons mashing, man. I play Invoker in Dota 2, and this shit makes me play <laughs> like Sonata. I thoroughly recommend playing PC and never using the weapon wheel for maximal Ritalin output. And if you can't switch weapons faster, play on easy mode. It's fine. <laughs> Wait, who uses a wheel, man? I've never used wheels. I've always used a keyboard. <laughs> Oh, the constant explosions, though. Jesus Christ. That's fine, man. We're all busy. Yeah, just pick whatever difficulty you want, right? Man, we're all busy. Uh, How about I give you two As long buttons? as you, you kill! There's two ways to kill a and demon doom. in Doom Eternal. The fun way, or the funny way. And to maximize fun the or funny level, we have the mm -hmm. Crucible, which is a direct, instantaneous kill on every enemy. Giant area you can just boss, one-shot them? Previous area boss, dead. The final boss. That's so Now I hear you thinking, Josh, that sounds pretty strong. Oh boy. That does Buckle sound very ass. strong. Because the second super weapon on my extensive list of two things is the BFG, which the cannot be G. Big fucking gun. Also canonically, <laughs> it fires a hole gun. directly into the core of Mars. You can't just <laughs> a hole into the surface of Mars. You can't just. Now, I could kill an yes, I can. Apparently, I could kill him and his dog faster than the ATF at Waco. Hey, hey, hey! hey leave the dog alone. Instantly, I am so thankful the game limits how many times you can do this. Now, I understand that at first this may seem it limits you, but that just mm. isn't true because the entire game is effectively a tutorial oh. for hard mode, and because you're always learning the game's to play, a tutorial. And never Doom even lets you choose what stats and runes to upgrade. I spec huh? entirely into mobility and ammo, making my character a flimsy, crack-addled spider. Monkey. As a side note, we should release dozens or possibly hundreds of macaques to New York City. They can survive there. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> no. Oh God. I have no words the good monkeys. So what more is there to learn about Doom Eternal? Well, have you ever given thought Why are the there idol girls in there? The answer may shock you. Those are the As you may have guessed, there Why? are at least three, perhaps four demons in the game, which is a lot for someone who is a small, blonde anime lolly such as myself. But it's the variety of the demons that make the game interesting. Small blonde demons lolly? Can yourself? They can roll around like hedgehogs, contract obesity, and be bastards. Who is Sandy Loam? Who is Tsushima? Amy Rose? <laughs> I didn't know she could stand. The point of the entire game, therefore, is to balance targets, switch weapons, and scream internally as you repeatedly <laughs> fail to be cool. Just like high school. What I'm getting Just at like is every school. demon has completely different behavior and goals from one another. The Doom Hunter rolls around in a comically okay. small tank. The zombies, like us, exist so you to have? die. And the Marauder produces controversy. He does a lot of damage, <laughs> blocks your attacks, fights you at wild speeds, and can only be attacked after blatantly signaling so. I personally have no issue with blatantly him. Blatantly signaling. And if you don't, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying you're bad. I'm not getting into the Oof, details for each one. The since dissing. That's not funny, but don't worry, there are 27 of them without <laughs> the dissing. That type of mob sounds annoying, though. Like, just how you can't just wait. What happens when that mob meets the one shot thing? What happens then? I'm intrigued. Without DLC. And if you're wondering why I'm fighting the entire cast of Dante's Inferno, you're actually the minority. This game tries at every moment to make exposition collectible. You're why the is minority. There just a, a fucking big spear in the planet. And why is heaven comprised entirely of moth people? You cannot stop the procession. Those are pretty hot moth people. I like it the ones like shown one guy to the events of the game, and another guy invented LSD just to write the backstory. <laughs> so I'm going to combine both of Excuse you, are you sure they invented LSD, mister? I'm editing on crack! ...them into a single, accurate interpretation of the Doom lore. If I say something objectionable, just pretend that it's right. Just pretend that it's right! I need to write that down.
It's like if I say something weird, One Brazilian pretend I'm years right. Ago, there was a guy named the Dad who was effectively God, and he made moths in lamp heaven called the Makers. Every ten thousand years, uh -huh. all moths combine their collective consciousness into one Giga Moth called the Con Maker. Can you stop moth. showing so fucking hot moths galaxy, on my screen? Happens, and then we start fucking. I don't know. This was a horny video. John Doom after a spree of murders, and he explains to her that yes, hell exists. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that the moon type moths. Hell before God. Anyways, the Moth Pope, after finding out that hell. Uh. Is real, very reasonably oh my god, to please stop. To it. See, it turns stop out that showing me hot lady moths. out like 10 million years ago and let the moth do whatever they wanted. So now the con maker cannot be replaced and cannot and I like so moths. Sort of I like certain moths. <laughs> now the plan is to get some of that sweet hell energy by repeatedly sacrificing entire I'm trying to bash the, the moths out of my home. Meanwhile, a sentient robot named Samuel Hayden is very busy on Mars. Earth has this problem called you get climate what I mean, change. Chef. We need to find a new energy source. So instead of something hard okay. and difficult, Okay. Like solar power. Samuel Hayden Something like, hard and difficult for the moth. Cool blue energy <clears throat> from hell. Also, it's on Mars. Earth does it's this until hell begins breaking into Mars and John Doom stops them, which is the plot of Doom 2016. This makes Samuel Hayden mad because he's funded by uh -huh. the Koch brothers and really doesn't want to build a windmill. So instead of destroying doesn't the want to build. Principle, he just brings it back to Earth and catapults John Doom into the backstory planet. If you think that sounds <laughs> unreasonable, just remember that we considered blotting out the sun before building a fucking solar panel. I only poo-poo farted. Wait. We did? Okay. Unsurprisingly, demons invade to recycle Earth into blue energy for the Moth Pope. So John oh Doom has to fight both Moth Pope, and Moth hell. supremacy and right the there. Game, you might notice that it just brings up random shit at will. Like, oh, sorry, the Soul Factory is being held there by two gigantic titans. And like, okay, I guess <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is real now. Attack on Titan is real. This knife to kill I still need to watch Attack on Titan. The plot of the main game, to understate it, is psychotic and acts as an increasing checklist. Psych Psychotic, yes. Convoluted I like that Just plot. Just this one game, John Doom finds an ancient city like three times, goes to the North Pole to kill Santa, fights Croatia, does a little trolling, does a little Santa and Croatia, got it, heaven, and, and cock. Kills God, but we'll get back to and that. we kill God. Doom 2016 took place on Mars, but this <laughs> game has you slung around the universe on a fucking bungee cord. So I understand completely what <laughs> people like say that they don't ended. play Doom Eternal for the plot. They're just wrong. I play They're Doom Eternal wrong. for the plot, and that might sound strange to you, but Eternal's plot is pure I mean, insanity and it does I mean when we think about the plot and we think about uh the moth girl I can see you playing for the plot just just saying just I'm the, yeah, you know like that, that's acceptable everything that it needs to we are painfully aware that the plot exists as a contrivance because the environmental designer went fucking ballistic <laughs> i just don't care i played every single I level gleefully care. wondering oh boy what stupid shit is next i cannot fucking <laughs> win. so play the game for the plot it is integral to the experience of doom oh. oh but max or there's a plot hole how did the doom slayer get the first everything i've said so far <laughs> Shoots him in the head. <laughs> that is the best, most accurate way of dealing with the people that are negative Nancys, man. I fucking love that. <laughs> Except some of it applies in full partially to the base game, but there's forty dollar reduce of DLC where the gameplay is faster, oh. the challenge harder, and the plot somehow even fucking worse in all the right departments. It's was worse in the Eternal right department. The ancient gods is fucking Venezuelan inflation. You thought it was over when John Doom beat the demons and destroyed all of heaven, but you were wrong. That's just the beginning. That was and just heaven. We need to go in hell, right? Fully out. My recommendation cannot be understated. Oh. Let's get into why, and more importantly, what. <laughs> into the why and what, okay? The plot this is kill demons. Is going to be different, far more Eviscerate them. The yes. Plot of the DLC. Because the gameplay isn't what's new about the product, it's Bloody the hentai, challenge though. of the story. I originally wrote an entire script for this and then trashed it because it doesn't truly communicate how this <laughs> DLC drove me to insanity and I hard cope by simping for 2D women. I will tell you <laughs> there's a very big gameplay change, but the point of the DLC what's is more of you? what's amazing. If you like Doom Eternal, you will like the DLC, <laughs> period. Okay, so Samuel Hayden, you might know him for his various appearances on political YouTube debates advocating for carbon positivity. It turns out that he's not a 
Okay. He's a fucking angel. Also, John Doom's Alexa is God. That's not a joke. So or angels are robots. His name is Vega, and he's Got the it. physical remnant of God's consciousness in AI form. So Samuel, now a fucking divine being, wants you to revive him <laughs> since both God and Satan are trapped in volleyballs. At this point, the video can't count as spoilers because it makes no fucking sense. The first DLC is essentially trolling because you kill God. Why? Well, obviously to revive Satan exclusively so you can fight him. So we. Of particular note here on the gameplay side is the final boss. So we killed God to use God's essence to revive Satan, to kill Satan, to go revive God, to kill God. Check so. Who is Samuel Hayden? Because holy shit, this fight is hard. Also, the premise is ridiculous, and my enjoyment of the game is hurt by neither. Every aspect <laughs> of this is speedy, fun, and everything else I've already said about the game in general. Speedy and, and fun. Samuel, yeah, it does sound board, it turns like a Max easy. or um game. Yeah. The only thing in the world that could possibly kill John Doom himself. Nice. Nice. I like how you keep shooting. So now the not you you decides to well, the between the talking. The second DLC is just chasing him. This is of course where the testosterone moves into critical levels. How does one get to the capital city of <laughs> Hell? Well, that's there. a great question. First of all, go to the planet of Argentinur. Light the bat signal. Learn how to train your <laughs> dragon. Okay. Go into the bat giant signal. That train the, the dragon. For some reason, get the key to the gate of the kill room, shit. And now go back Got to it. Traverse the Last of Us two and. Find the gate of demon. That's a lot of traveling. Final showdown with Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity. There's some cool <laughs> things that want to talk about. You have a fucking hammer in this DLC. Primarily used to defy the laws Yo. of gravity, but secondarily gives you everything in the game. Health, no problem. Wait, wait, Ammo, wait, 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 wait. We have a hammer. We have a hammer to go to like jump down and smash and not take any damage that's fantastic that, that's that is awesome my smash urges? everything yes. As I, this, I became more obsessed with hammers than bob the fucking builder and there's plenty of demons to use it on since the dlc adds a mm. shitload of reskins for instance the spirit is a congealed amphetamine mass that makes every infested target three times faster microsoft <laughs> who is fun to fight i promise and the blood makers they are my original oc do not steal it so now that we've reached cleveland it's the time blood for the makers. DLC to gain style this I is thought... the culmination of all of our work the final Damn. Battle against Satan himself, and holy shit! Satan you himself. When the Sentinel army shows up, and everyone's Us? ready to kick ass. You just what can't the help fuck but is like happening? Cleveland lives up to the hype too, for once, that is... because it's a non-stop battle of epic proportions, right up until that the is final insane. boss. This is the universe, which implicitly acknowledges your godlike power by making the only credible threat to you your identical twin with red <laughs> eyes and a gun. Note. That is called fucking gameplay, and We're it's a beautiful send off right up to the man himself. Oh god! Around the arena like a penguin, but that. That's fine, the fight is still cool. The fight's still cool despite running like a penguin wow, flapping you know, about. So nice. Steve Jobs died in Ligma. Who the hell is Steve Jobs? Ligma balls. <laughs> Got him! Ligma balls! Now, before we do finish, there's a few details I want to talk about that truly complete this game. Make it a real 10 out of good. Firstly, I would classify oh. the music of this game as metal without guitars, and I fucking dig it so Metal much. without you guitars. Metal without a guitar? Well, you sample Mongolian throat singing and your lawnmower. More <laughs> Mongolian throat singing. Normally, singing. music isn't very important, but it's so good that it becomes important. And the role it plays oh. in setting your mood is vital. Also, the main composer Mick Gordon, like me, yeah, I agree. Watches virtual YouTubers every waking second of his day. Great minds think alike. <laughs> in fact, most of the music in this video is just doom. And then the question is, what the fuck am I watching? <sighs> Fantastic. I love it. The turtle soundtrack. Guess you'll have to rewatch it over and over again to really listen. Oh. Finally, this game looks really good. Not in a, oh wow, look at all these particles I'm stroking out way. It's more like, I am the strongest. It is so <laughs> downright inspired that it makes you feel bad while playing it. Doom Eternal is such a fast and pulse pounding game that it's like sprinting through the fucking Louvre. How am I supposed to appreciate the Mona Lisa? <laughs> the it looks like this? 
Should you buy the game? Yes, I am very biased. If speed and action is what you crave and you want to induce cardiac arrest early, this is your game. I would like to thank the Demonic Brotherhood for funding this channel in exchange for their souls. If you would like to engage in blood sacrifice, the best patrons ever birthed. Nice. Learn more. Thank you all for watching, and of course, run their coming. Fantastic. Run their coming. All over the mob, girl. That was a great video. That was a great video, goddamn. And I feel like I'm getting used to Max or his editing. It, it, it didn't take me that long to adjust this time. <laughs> anyway, YouTube, if you have any other recommendations, just uh, in the comments below, you know, and just put them there.